citizens here. MedStar, which is based in Fort Worth, showed us their AM bus that left for East Texas over the weekend. They sent a crew of seven people to help assist with transporting patients out of areas that are dealing with those power outages. Each so concerning, MedStar crews from Fort Worth have rushed in to help. They've mobilized what they call an AM bus. It's essentially a massive ambulance capable of treating and transporting handfuls of patients at the same time. MedStar officials say their current mission is to save vulnerable patients from hospitals without power. Having healthcare facilities that don't have air conditioning is not good for patient care. So they are literally assisting with the relocation of patients from facilities that don't have power to facilities that do. Okay, these are your cups. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Nicole Nielsen. We start with a life-threatening situation in East Texas. We checked in the last just 10 minutes and nearly 100,000 people are still without power after storms plowed through the area. Now, according to electric company Swepco, thousands of people could be without power for the next week. That includes nursing homes and medical facilities. The affected areas extend east to Louisiana and as far west as Grand Saline. This could be dangerous as we expect to reach triple-digit temperatures this week. Now, multiple North Texas organizations are also helping the cause and sending additional resources and personnel to East Texas. Now, so far, we know Frisco Fire, Flower Mound Fire, and Texas Baptist Men are all stepping up, as well as Fort Worth's MedStar Health. Earlier tonight, we caught up with MedStar as they showed us their AM bus that left for East Texas last night. They sent a crew of seven folks to help assist with transporting patients out of areas without power. MedStar, like other agencies that have AM buses, are always on call to send the AM bus to locations in the state or even out of state in the event of a large-scale emergency. Clearly what's happening in East Texas right now for patients that are in healthcare settings is a large-scale emergency, and this is one of the most effective ways to be able to move large numbers of patients in a very short period of time. Now, by the way, MedStar tells us they plan to stick around for about another day or so and have plans in place to swap out crews if they do stay longer than that. Now, Overnight, several North Texas emergency groups and disaster relief organizations helping those in East Texas still without power and air. MedStar and the Frisco Fire Department both sent crews to the area. They shared these images that show that thankfully there are those committed to offering their support. Dominus